Hello, uh, this is Ben Ballard. I'm a field engineer with VaultDB, and I'm going to be presenting our webinar today, uh, VaultDB for SQL Developers. So we're going to begin with an introduction to VaultDB and an overview of the architecture. Uh, we're going to compare VaultDB to some traditional databases, and uh, then we'll cover application migration and development with VaultDB. There's a short demo in which I'll be showing some of the, um, the tools that developers would use when they're building an application in Bolt. And uh, at the end, we'll have the questions. Uh, we'll try to answer as many questions as, as we have time for. Um, we do it, answer every question, so if, if we don't have time, we will get back to you um, over email. So we'll start out with an introduction to um, VoltDB and the architecture. So to start out, what is VoltDB? Um, it's an asset compliant relational database. It uses SQL. It's fast and scalable, and it's very reliable. Um, so it's fast because of in-memory operation. It has a streamlined transaction processing mechanism. It's partitioning uh, data across multiple servers um, in a cluster, so it can scale to meet uh, any throughput requirements. And it has a lot of reliability for features built in including high availability, durability to disk, and database replication. So VoltDB started from research um, conducted by our, our co-founder, Dr. Michael Stonebreaker, um, a database pioneer, um, based on research that was conducted into um, OLTP database systems and what causes them to uh, slow down in the face of very high scale transaction uh, processing workloads. And the result of this research found that um, these database systems, uh, because of the way they do concurrency management and all the operations are done on disk and the architectures that they were built with, which um, you know, came from the legacy of how databases uh, came to be developed from the 70s onward, um, there were uh, a lot of mechanisms involved that um, you could say are more part of the overhead bookkeeping, um, keeping track of different versions of data, making sure that um, the data returned to each session is consistent, but that aren't involved in actually doing the work. And that uh, when the workload got to be at uh, an extremely high scale, uh, it's t spending all of its time doing these things and not so much time actually processing transactions. And uh, so you know, they identified these, these issues and took a look at would it be possible to design a database from scratch with today's technology to eliminate these um, bottlenecks. And that led to the HStore project, which uh, was then commercialized into VoltDB. Um, so it uses in-memory operations to eliminate disk I.O. weights. Um, it has a serialized execution model which um, streamlines the processing of transactions, avoids lack, uh, latching and locking. Um, and it uh, allows for um, automatic partitioning, uh, which uh, enables you to scale the database um, on multiple servers, which can be commodity servers. They don't have to be um, heavy-duty hardware. And uh, this allows you to um, achieve um, higher levels of throughput at a linear rate, so you can grow a cluster as you need to meet a, a growing uh, demand. And uh, it also has uh, high availability features, so there's automatic replication within the cluster to um, uh, uh, make the cluster more fault tolerant. 